All right, let's let's get into it. Hi, everybody. My name is Theo. Uh, I work at Salesforce Ventures as part of the portfolio development team. Um, and I work with startups once we invest and I help them grow their businesses, get new customers, achieve operational excellence within their companies. Um, so it's been a pleasure of mine working with this program and um, I'm really happy to hear the pitches. Um, and so, so I wanna get right into it here. Um, Jaden and Nene, the first question I wanna ask you both is, um, just about broadly speaking, how do you feel this program has changed you? Maybe Jaden, if you want to kick it off for us. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely kick that off. Well, first of all, um, well, as far as alumni venture seed fund program, yeah, um, I've been, I've been, I've had to change a lot. I've been working, you know, school. I have to up my time management skills, and um, that's that's changed. It's changed how I approach life, how I approach, you know, prioritizing goals, et cetera. Um. But as far as the rest of the Hidden Genius Project, it's completely turned my life around. Just the, the existence of the entire program has um, just just changed the entire pathway, changed it to where I know what I want to do in the future. Before before the program, I didn't know I wanted to major in computer science. So it's just changed everything for me. Amazing. Amazing. Nene, same thing. Sounds like you're going to class now and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Venture Seed has definitely changed my perspective on how I approach things. Um, so in light of this, I developed a lot of different skills. Um, skills I wouldn't have otherwise picked up if, you know, this wasn't a pathway option within the Hidden Genius Project. Instead of just, like it, Desmond said it well earlier, you know, oh, I got the computer, you know, science mindset. I'm going to go and just build it now, and you know forget about everything else instead of actually, you know, thinking, giving some critical thought to, okay, once I'm here or there, you know, how does this orchestrate, how does this system run itself? Because that's what a business is. It's just a system um, of everyday operations and kind of you have all these different endpoints that all connect together to one central point that you have to then go and, um, organize in a manner that runs itself, you know, one day, because you, you can't, as a CEO or a founder, right, your job is not to micromanage every little aspect of your business. It's to create a system to where it manages itself, right, and it continues yeah. to grow. If you look at Rockefeller or you look at any of these, you know, multi-billion trillionaires basically right they're never going to run out of money and their money continuously generates wealth because of the systems they created yeah. um, and yeah. that's what yeah. they're really known yeah. for not not their businesses but you know what they were able to create it's almost uh, yeah a it's, 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 it's like what they were able to systematize right and right um, and yeah i think it's amazing that you've taken these ideas and systematized them um and that said, like I look at you two gen gentlemen, and you know, I, I say you're doing much more than I was than I was thinking about when I was your age, and and I consider you young heroes, right? I can I consider you top of the game. I consider you pioneers, right? And a lot of other people will consider you pioneers as well. How does it feel to be thought of in that light at such an early point in your life and career, Jaden? Um, okay. So in terms of being thought of is that, yeah. you know, I like, I like, I do as other humans, like the attention that comes with, you know, being a part of all these programs, taking advantage of all these opportunities, but I feel like it's important to really focus on the fact that, you know, there's, there's more of us like that out there, you know, yeah. that may just not have these opportunities to end up on this call to end up, you know, um, able to pitch their business to spaces like spaces like this yeah. just um you know it's it's just a reminder um and it's, it's it does feel good like you know to help to help amplify the message of the hidden genius project to amplify the message of my own business you know to create a business that i can view in a certain way that's not you know the typical view of businesses and corporations in america something different that I personally put out there to help my own community. And it does make me proud. 
Yeah, yeah, thank you. Very helpful. Nene, same thing. How does it feel to be thought of as a pioneer right now? Feels pretty good. You know? <laughs> um, talk your club talk, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, there, I'm not, I'm quite fortunate to be in this position. Um, and I've always embraced that and took the time to thank those around me for that and especially thank myself um, because, you know, you need to give yourself thanks to, you need to gratify yourself to understand that you are doing these things. And before, you know, I was told these things, you know, you're a pioneer and all that and you need to keep going. Um, but at the time I didn't feel like it, you know? And so you have to look within yourself, kind of refocus your lens on truly not what your end goal is, not what's attainable in terms of material or what you want, but what kind of impact do you wanna make both in your life and the generations to come, right? When yeah. your name is spoken, what do you want the first thought to be? I mean, a pioneer is, you know, somebody who up, upholds some sort of idea, right? They have their morals. That's the reason people call them pioneers. They had something that they did that revolutionized <laughs> whatever it, it was that they were part of. And yeah, so far, you know, I, I, I like being called a pioneer, but I haven't revolutionized anything yet. So <laughs> I'm not going to say... <laughs> I don't think of myself fully as a pioneer yet, but I know uh, eventually, you know, we'll get there. Yeah. Hey man, there's a, there's a Drake quote that he says, people used to tell me all the time, boy, you're going places. Uh, never really understood how far I can take it. So don't sleep on yourself. Don't sleep on yourself already. <laughs> um, but um, all right. So let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the tactical pieces of the program. Right. And, both of you guys got a lot of advice and help from a number of uh, uh, mentors and coaches. Um, Nene N- N- and I worked together, you know, fairly closely in one in one phase of the program. But um, I'm interested to know, like, what's like the most important takeaway? Like one or two of the most important takeaways that you that you each had, um, and at what phase of the program did that come about? Um, Nene, you want to kick us off here? And you don't have to say anything that I told you. That's not a layup for myself. Okay. So. <laughs> can, you, can you repeat the question one more time? Yeah, yeah sorry. So um, you, you had a lot of coaches and mentors. You got a lot of advice. Um, are there any, like, one or two takeaways that stand out to you as, like, these were, like, the top takeaways from my mentors, coaches, or the uh, sort of just the course material um, that, that you're always going to remember? Joey said something that just sort of stuck under promise over deliver. Mm. And I think that that's a big one. You know, I'm going to tend to yeah. use that, you know, and that not only applies to just business, but I feel like that applies to every other aspect of what you can do. Right. Yeah. You tend to want to be contained and, not always show a hundred percent that yeah i can do this right you want to allow the space for other people to show their creativity as well as show that hey i have a right within this space as well um yeah. and so that's kind of what i took away from that and another thing that i think really had stuck out from I want to say, yeah, Fidel. Fidel had told me not to overthink things. Mm. Um, At the time, you know, when we had first started, he was my first face coach, actually. And we had first started, we were talking, and I was talking about how I was overthinking things like, oh, if I do this, how am I going to go there? Or, you know, this. And he's like, break it down, you know? You don't need to figure out everything at once right now. You know, right. there are businesses still today 
that are trying to figure out thing, things out, but they're billion dollar, multi, multi-billion dollar businesses. Um, and so you don't need to know everything now. You know, time, yeah. as time goes on, you'll gather the knowledge and you'll put the puzzle pieces together and kind of know what it is you need to do at that yeah. moment in time or maybe the next two, three months from then or a year from then, right? So yeah. um, I think all in all, I'm just taking it slow and, and going by each step at a time, right? Yeah. And yeah. with each step, I want to also refocus my scope because you can't hone in on just one target uh, all the time. You tend to miss the things that fly by, right? Yeah, you're so, talking. You're you're talking wisdom right now. You're talking wisdom. Um, yes, yeah, so. Jaden. Jaden, how 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 about you? What uh, what are one or two of the main takeaways that you had from the program, your mentors, coaches, or curriculum? Um, for me, I would say my outlook on businesses, as I said earlier, just like just my priorities. But then my outlook on just business as as a concept has changed from like oh yeah, like from like. Um, I feel like more of a linear way to a more 3D, oh, there's different factors that has to do with everything and everything needs to be changed. And it mm. takes the perfect circumstances to, you know, to acquire this customer, to 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 um, keep these relations. It's so much that goes into it that, yeah. like, you know, I thought I had it down before this, which is crazy. <laughs> you know, I, I thought I had, you know, different programs. I, I still don't, I, I know now that I'm not ever going to have it down because of all the different factors. And that, and that's okay, because another another huge takeaway that I learned specifically was failing is a part of it. You know, like um, getting used to failing can be um, extremely instrumental to success. Like just straight up, and that's point blank. Period. You know, uh, speaking to um, you know investors who sold their business, having them tell me, "Oh yeah." I've had to call hundreds and I've been cussed out on the phone trying to reach out to businesses, <laughs> you know, before social media, things like that. It's just like, that's just a part of it. It's so many different factors to play. Yeah. And it's just, it, it gets my brain turned in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it sounds like there's one, you know, there's one uh, term that, that you didn't say, but everything you says wraps around this is resiliency, right? And it's it's how you're able to be resilient in the face of any adversity, um, and and that is a, a major thing. Um, so so I appreciate that perspective and you sharing that with us. Um, we have a few minutes left, and you know we're here. You have a group of supporters. You have eyes on you. Um, you know we want to know what's next. How can we help and support? It? Uh, my grand, my great grandfather always used to say, uh, "Close mouth, don't get fed," and he used to say, "The worst anybody can do is tell you no." So, um, we're interested to know where you're going. How can we all help? Um, Jaden, talk to me. Got it. Um, so going forward, I am actually, you know, to be more about what I speak when it comes to my social media management uh, company. I'm going to get my associate's degree um, from Meta in social media management. I'm taking a course right now. And, um, you know, I, I really want to become an expert in what I try to sell. So I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then going for past that, as far as my business, I really plan to pivot more towards the agency to help to, to help jumpstart and fund my ambitions on acquiring those smaller businesses and helping them out. So, those are my biggest biggest things coming up. Awesome. So how can how can how can we help? Recommendations, like what, recommendations, what you advice. You know, keeping keeping up with me. You know, um, that will yeah. help a lot. Connecting with me on LinkedIn, connecting with me on Instagram, following my Instagram on iblinko tech. Um, you know, on Facebook, keeping up. You know, and then I'll send everything everything else to you. In the newsletter yeah. every week, updates. Perfect. <laughs> so perfect, yeah, perfect, perfect. Um, thank you, Jaden. Um, Nene, same thing. How, where are you headed? How can we support? How can we get in touch with you? Um, Twisties, 
will continue to build upon um, itself and I will continue to work on it as time goes on. Um, I had said earlier, actually, I'm actually looking for a Flutter developer as well as a Node.js developer with at least two years of experience. But in reality, you know, you come to me, you show me what work you've done. You know, uh, you know, de depending on how much I believe you believe in what I'm doing, yeah, I could see you fitting in on my team. Um, I don't want to exclude anybody. I want to provide everybody an equal opportunity. So, you know, come on, show me what you got, and I'll yeah. I'll see what it is I can work with within that. Um, but as far as that. Uh, you can continue to support me by subscribing to my newsletter. If you go to www.twisties.io, you can go on there, add your email. You'll, I want to, I'm going to try to keep to weekly hair tips on the newsletter. Okay. There might be a few weeks. <laughs> the, the frequency might, might change a bit depending on um, what's going on at the moment. Uh, so if you're like, if you get into it and you're like, oh man, these tips are so helpful. And then all of a sudden you don't see one. Don't be shocked. Maybe there'll be one next week or even reach out at info at twisties.io. Be like, hey man, where, where are my tips? I'll make sure to send it out. Um, but for the most part, yeah, Twisties just wants to, if there's any hairstylists here or just stylists in general, and you have uh, an event coming up soon or you don't mind me shadowing and kind of watch how you work, please definitely reach out to info at twisties.io as well. Um, cool. And, you know, we'll see how we can work and, and get you started on my platform. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I'm so proud of both of you. And the last thing that I'll say, and I'll make, I'll, I'll make this point um, on, the, on the ask really quickly is that these young gentlemen are going to need some cash to get their businesses going over time. So, everybody all these eyes here um you know think about how you can support from that way um when these gentlemen come calling um so i so i uh encourage all of you to think about that and young men you're gonna have to ask for a lot of money so get used to it um this is our time to head back thanks everybody thanks nene thanks Jaden. um you're both young heroes to me Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for the, the questions that were asked. Um, Definitely. Thanks for everybody as well for showing up tonight. Perfect.